so when we talk about the limitations of the conventional testing approach, uh, some things come to our mind, uh, right? For example, uh, keeping up with the continuous change in the product. Nowadays, we live in an era of continuous delivery. Uh, the products are changing quite frequently. We are doing releases multiple times in a week. And uh, uh, the products are getting feature each day wide, right? And uh, at times, testing becomes a bottleneck. Uh, when it comes to continuous delivery of uh, the features of all your enhanced applications. Uh, ensuring the right test, test coverage is also a problem at times, uh, especially in the continuous delivery uh, scenario, where the product is going through a lot of changes, which, which probably uh, will cause a regression effect on the product, on, on the application, right? So how do we basically choose the right kind of tests to execute uh, so that we can uh, make sure that there is no regression, the features are working just fine and the product is good to go. Our right kind of coverage is also very essential. Uh, the product is getting complex. Uh, we are adding a lot of features to it. The support matrix for products these days is quite large, right? There are multiple mobile devices. Today's applications, they essentially support mobile, web, as well as desktop in many scenarios. So that makes the interoperability matrix or support matrix for these applications quite large and complex at times. And last but not the least is the test scenario ideation. Uh, considering the feature is feature is applications, uh, a, a huge or, or a, a multi-dimensional uh, user base for my applications. Uh, what are the all possible scenarios uh, to cover when it comes to the application testing? So perhaps uh, we might need some kind of a help in in the in that ideation uh, situation where we can come up with some interesting scenarios or the corner case use cases, these kind of things. Like considering all these aspects, uh, we still need to basically stay ahead of the competition, right? Uh, we continuously improve and improvise the accuracy and efficiency of our testing approach. Uh, and we should be able to predict certain things, right? Uh, for example, uh, which uh, component or which part of my application has uh, a potential risk of failing in the fit or uh, maybe not doing the work in, in the right manner. So uh, if we can predict these things beforehand, uh, that will add a great deal of value uh, in what we are testing and how we are testing uh, the applications. Uh, so when we talk about uh, leveraging AI and ML uh, in software testing, these are some of the focal points in which we can try to implement uh, these advanced techniques to make testing even better and more efficient. The first is test coverage. Right. Perhaps we can employ uh, the ML-based algorithms or, or, or a model uh, to check and correct uh, the, the test coverage. Right. Perhaps uh, by, by looking at the application, by looking at the available artifacts, uh, the ML model can help us to basically do an ideation or come up with some great ideas about what kind of use cases we can cover and how we can test our product in more effective manner. Improved accuracy for selection of regression tests. Now, uh, it, it may so happen that your regression test suit uh, consists of thousands of test cases. Now, to test and validate a particular change or the effect of that change, uh, you might not need to run all thousand test cases, but you might need some specific set of test cases. Now, how do you determine or how do you basically figure out that which tests are the most appropriate to be executed to validate a particular change. Perhaps ML can, uh, can come uh, as, as a help, help there as well. The consolidated effect of uh, the point number one and point number two uh, can help basically make our test cycles even faster. If we are executing the tests that matters the most rather than executing the entire bulky uh, regression test suit or a functional test suit, uh, that will actually speed up the overall execution uh, of my testing and essentially reduce my testing cycle. Of course, it, the, all these approaches will be cost effective and the cost here is not necessarily from the, the monetary perspective, but also from the effort perspective. If I could save a lot on my efforts, essentially I'm going to save a lot on my money, right? 
So uh, these advanced techniques or, or these new age technologies can definitely help us to achieve all these focal points.